Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching business, accounting, economics and law and through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and also a short trading lesson at the end so please stay tuned. In today's video we're going to be doing an update for Tick Symbol MMAT, looking at the conference and what we can pick up from the conference. And also we're going to be looking at tick symbol LKCO, Lukong Technology, and uh, do a quick update on that stock as well. In terms of uh, meta materials, tick symbol MMAT, today was not a good day. The whole market uh, was down uh, on the whole. So obviously this, this was not go good for meta materials as well. It was down just in excess of 11%, closing at $3.79, which I think will be an excellent buying opportunity for anybody who has not invested in the stock yeah, in terms of um, LKCO again that was also affected by market conditions however it was not down as uh, significantly as some of the other stocks it was just down in excess of 1.46 percent at $1.69 however uh, I, st I think this is a bargain price and uh, the long-term future for this is going to be very very positive and we're going to look at that uh, shortly uh, in the video. Let's start by having a, an update on in terms of uh, tick symbol MMAT. So in the previous video, we looked at George's tweet and the reaction it had yesterday in terms of the share price. We did have two continuous green days. Unfortunately, it didn't continue today. However, uh, as investors of MMAT, I think we, we, it'll, be pos it'll be certainly good for us if we can start to give uh, George a little bit more of uh, the benefit of the doubt he has uh, he did respond yesterday and there was a presentation today so we're going to look at that so uh, first of all we're gonna, I'd like to give a shout out here on the screen to learning uh, finance 18 who made this post uh, so let's have a look at what is uh, observed in his post so he is very bullish about this stock and he said the meeting gave me much more confidence in the company in the future he's sold on meta materials George gave hints of upcoming partnerships uh, and obviously explained the plan for inorganic growth to increase the market cap. He is extremely excited to see where the company goes in the future and obviously like uh, many of us uh, a little bit confused and baffled in terms of why the stock has been trending downwards. It uh, certainly seems there could be some uh, manipulation. We saw the error yesterday in terms of the Nasdaq listing so that was certainly one thing that we've uncovered. Uh, what else is going on with the stock and why has it been trending downwards, which many investors did not expect. Before we look at what was announced in terms of potential partnerships for Meta going forward, uh, let's have a quick recap of some of the key companies that Meta are already uh, in partnership with. And uh, just as a reminder, these include companies like Panasonic, uh, Sony, Samsung, um, Boeing, AGC, uh, Babrock and many many more so let's now have a look at what was uh, what could be the next uh, list of companies in, to be in partnership with uh, Meta. So the key thing picked up in the conference was the uh, potential and a partnership of uh, co some companies from the Fortune 500. Uh, at the top right hand side on the screen here are the potential uh, partners that would uh, comply and be compatible with uh, Meta, these include Verizon, Ford, General Motors, Anthem and Centene. So however, uh, the one I think all of us are looking for is uh, not on that list. That's at the bottom right hand side and we can see their company number 100 is Tesla. So just uh, highlighted with the red arrow there. Again, no confirmation of this. However, if there is a deal, if there is talks going on, uh, the company would certainly not be able to share that information because it could je jeopardize the deal. Uh, so again, as long term investors, this could be a huge, huge catalyst. And just to finish off on this um, potential catalyst, George was asked in the conference about a potential uh, deal with Tesla. Uh, again, no confirmation, no official announcement, but this is uh, an actual screen grab of his face at the time. So uh, what does this tell us? Uh, you know, officially it tells us nothing, but that's his face uh, in response to the question of a potential deal with Tesla. Okay, so what we're going to do now is move over to look at tick symbol LKCO. Um, one of the key reasons why I want to look at LKCO is I believe this is now on sale. It is at a bargain price. 
So what I'd like to remind investors of in terms of uh, everybody holding this uh, stock, including myself, uh, is uh, let's have a look at a summary of why we have uh, such strong belief in uh, LKCO. So first of all, it's one of the leading companies in, in the technology of spa uh, spatial temporal big data. Uh, and also in the ride hailing services, it has its own patented technology. The company is capable uh, to deal with uh, spatial temporal data in various forms, including SD map, HD map, uh, remote sensor imaging, IoT sensor data, and it can also um, provide um, advanced services such as um, data as a service, um, software as a service, platform as a service, uh, etc. So it has. Um, Two businesses. The first is uh, called uh, APP. It's an app called, sorry, uh, uh, LKCO, and it allows users to record uh, the space and time where they go out. Second is the brand uh, Cheo Jing, which focuses on the B2B and B2G business, directly providing uh, spatial temporal data services to corporate government customers. So, um, company has huge, huge potential there, as we can see. Let's now move on to look at um, a timeline for 2021 for tick symbol LKCO. March was uh, the important month where uh, it announced the acquisition of EMG, uh, the first um, mapping company in terms of EMAC Go, and it completed this acquisition. And this company has got huge, huge potential uh, as a catalyst for generating revenue and also its unique uh, technology. So in terms of April, this was a huge catalyst again. We had the letter from um, the courts and uh, confirmation that um, the listing was removed. NASDAQ also uh, re reinstated its uh, permanent uh, listing in NASDAQ and uh, in terms of uh, regaining its uh, compliance. So that was, that was positive news in April. In May, uh, they obtained a contract in terms of new traffic control system and intelligent road. This was in China. So that was a huge catalyst in May. In July, they had a strategic government uh, cooperation agreement under the National Geospatial Information Center in a range of sectors, including serv information services. Uh, and as well as that, obviously, they're looking at um, top China's automaker to collect and manage the data of autonomous driving. So huge, huge potential going forward for the stock. And to finish off on um, LKCO, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Nomo Momo and he's uh, posted something uh, quite bullish here, which I think is uh, positive. So let's uh, have a look at what he's uh, stated. He said it's um, LKO is one of the only five companies in China holding the government license for HD mapping. Um, it's a higher level than DIDI. Don't be scared of any Chinese stocks or treatment of Chinese stocks. LKCO does have seem to have uh, government backing, very strong. Uh, it's a B2B business provider. I obviously, it's received a government uh, contract, so that, that's the evidence of um, government backing. Um, it's already won the uh, court case with regard to um, delisting. Uh, it also has a patent on the upcoming spatial temporal artificial intelligent products, and the company is obviously seriously undervalued. Uh, so knowledge is power in this stock. So in terms of um, myself, everybody who's followed me on the channel uh, has known that I'm, I have uh, generally given quite conservative predictions for LKCO. And I think uh, what I'm seeing in terms of the comments, a lot of people are now moving over to agree with my target price for LKCO for the year of around about $5. I think uh, if market conditions were not so unstable that we are seeing at the moment i think certainly the potential would be much much higher but um i think all investors will certainly be happy with five dollars by the end of the year it's now time for lesson of the day so today's lesson is going to be looking at the power of compound returns which are possible through investing in the stock market and the power of compound returns those of you who understand compound returns will you know will will, will obviously realize that these can be uh, tremendous so let's have a look at a question and this the answer this is a question that i'd like to everybody to share on their instagram if the, you could share this question on your facebook on your twitter etc so get your friends involved get your family involved and the question requires an answer in five seconds so no thinking about it no doing any calculations so we need an answer in five seconds so let me share with you the question so the question is 
if you were given a choice between taking three million dollars in cash right now or a single penny we can call it a cent that doubles in value for 31 days which one would you take so five four three two one so if this was a real question in real life i think 95 percent of people would choose the three million dollars five percent of people would choose one cent that doubles in value for 30 days and i'm sure you can guess the correct answer the correct answer is you should be choosing one cent not the three million dollars let's now have a look at why okay so if we have a look at the screen here what i've done on a compound calculator uh, online you can do this yourself feel free uh, i've inserted one cent into the calculator so the the uh, if we if we have one cent that doubles every day so that represents a hundred percent return so we'll put that into the calculator so on the 31st day you it's whatever you're left with so we put the, put in the number of days 30 days uh you reinvest every day and uh, we start today 15th of july 2021 and we finish on the 14th of august 2021 on the right hand side this is the amount of money you will receive ten million seven hundred thirty seven thousand four hundred eighteen dollars so you just lost around about in excess of seven million dollars so if you chose three million dollars you made a big mistake so this this was this basically represents the power of compound returns so that's very interesting that's the power of the stock market that's the power of investment if you if you use this strategy uh, and um, i do have a personal proposal that i'm going to be sharing with my patreon members uh in the upcoming future and that is going to be with with regard to a strategy using something similar i'm not i've not released details yet i'm still working on it but if anybody's interested in the patreon i will be sharing a plan where we're looking at possibly using this power of compound returns not based on 100 percent return because nobody can achieve uh, stocks which give you instant 100 percent returns so it's going to be based on three percent returns uh, based on the spreadsheet that I'm going to be creating and also based on potential buy prices, sell prices and uh, signals. So that will be shared in the Patreon uh, in, in, in the near future. So if anybody's interested in the Patreon, uh, please look at the description below and um, details will be there. So thank you very much for joining me. Please stay tuned.